Shalom brothers and sisters. So I've made it uh, no hidden fact that I firmly think from the way I'm looking at things in the world and the way everything's lining up that Pope Francis is the perfect candidate for the false prophet that will bring together the one world religion and perform wonders in the sight of many in honor of the beast and all those things. He just really fits the bill for me. And that's besides the Catholic prophecies of him being the last Pope before the end times and all those things that just also seemingly point in that direction. So this article that came out, I just want to read through for you to show you who you're dealing with. If you're Catholic or if you're just watching, Pope Francis picks notorious pro-LGBT clerics to participate in the October Synod on Synodality. The list of participants for the October meeting of the Synod on Synodality has been released with Pope Francis's personal choices, including Cardinals McElroy, Kupich and Gregory and Father James Martin. There are 15 names on the Pope's personal choices for voting members of the Synod. They include Cardinals, Bishops, Priests and Religious Sisters. Among the most notable of his picks are the following, and, and the list is long. These are just a few I thought I'd highlight for you. Archbishop Timothy Costello, anti-traditional mass bishop of Perth, who has been a key synod on synodality member and who shocked Australian Catholics when he oversaw an indigenous pagan ritual at the beginning of the Fifth Australian Plenary Council's opening mass. Not surprising for me because a lot of the things celebrated in Christianity today were brought in from pagan nations and their rituals to incorporate them into the church. Cardinal Blaise Kupich, the notorious Chicago Cardinal, known especially for his promotion of LGBT masses and restriction of Latin masses, who has recently praised the heterodox German synodal way. Cardinal Josef de Kessel, the Archbishop Emeritus of Mechelen, Brussels, who signed and approved the notorious document by his fellow Belgian bishops, promulgating blessings for same-sex couples, and at their subsequent ad limina visit with Francis, the Kessel said the meeting was invariably warm and the Belgians had not been admonished for the document at all. Cardinal Wilton Gregory, current Archbishop of Washington, D.C., raised to the Cardinalate by Francis in 2020 with a long list of anti-family and anti-traditional actions. Cardinal Jean-Claude Hollerich, related General of the Synod and recently appointed member of the Pope's Council of Cardinals, prominently pro-LGBT, who previously claimed he is in full agreement with Pope Francis on the issue of opposing Catholic teaching on homosexuality. Cardinal Robert McElroy, notoriously heterodox bishop, recently raised to the Cardinalate in 2022, who promotes Holy Communion for those living immoral LGBT lifestyles and who has been accused by bishops of having de facto excommunicated himself. Father James Martin, the notoriously pro-LGBT Jesuit, also a member of the Dicastery for Communications, who enjoys increasing papal favor, despite his long record of promoting LGBT ideology in dissent from the Catholic teaching. He has promoted an image drawn from a series of blasphemous, homoerotic works showing Christ as a homosexual, promoting same-sex unions, and described viewing God as male is damaging. How much evil must be revealed before people see who they're dealing with? These people all standing there with their great big titles, bishops and cardinals and pope and all these things, those titles mean nothing, nothing. It's worth zero in the eyes of God, who sees the true heart of man. And this evil is what he promotes, because that is in line with the agenda of what's coming. And again, enforces my thinking that he is the perfect candidate for the false prophet. 
because he's making sure that all his people thinking the way he thinks and that he is promoted into these positions of power are ready to move and act when the time comes. And again, interesting, isn't it? October, September, all that time frame around Rosh Hashanah coming at the end of this year, all these important meetings and happenings all happening at the same time, getting all the key players together in key places so that when the crisis or shock to the world happens, they're ready to act and do something. So, interesting. God bless. Keep looking up. Shalom.